Hi guys, it's me. Um, I I received an email from <clears throat> I email received a few emails that I wanted to go over. Um, uh, I am on day six, I think it is. Yeah, I think I'm on day six. Um, uh, uh, post ops. Um, three things I wanted to cover. Okay, so I got to tell y'all what happened to me yesterday. So yesterday, um, I decided that I wanted to go with my husband to the market. Bad idea. Worst idea ever. So I guess it's because it's Good Friday and it's Easter, everybody's at the market. So I, um, my husband couldn't find parking. So he let me off at the front of the um, Walmart and I had to walk to find one of the little, um, little writing um, baskets. So finally I found one. And when I found it, I almost had to get beat up for it because this other lady, she was trying to get it. And I was just like, oh, my God, please, I really, really need it. So I almost had to fight the lady over the, the car. Anywho. So finally, um, I talked her into letting me get the car. And I met up with my husband, so we ride around. We was literally at Walmart for two hours. That was the two hours, worst two hours of my entire life. That's two hours that I cannot get back. Anywho. So, we were at the Walmart, and we rode around for two hours, making sure that we got a lot of stuff that we needed. And um, I, we had two different baskets, but I had to get my stuff because I'm just doing soup and crackers, and um, I got me some fruit and stuff like that. So, um, and I got me some pickles. I love pickles. Oh, my God, I love pickles. Anyway, so, um, I... My son, who's two, he stood in front of me inside the thing. Oh, my God. So, basically, to wrap up the story, by the time we got to the register, I was in so much pain. And I told my husband, I said, hey, I left my um, medicine in the windowsill before we left. I said, grab it. But he said he put it inside my drawer. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, okay. So, I was like, I should be okay. We only going to be gone an hour, so I should be fine. No, I was not fine. That was the worst two hours in my life. And I was in so much pain. So then afterwards, um, after we finished finished ringing up everything, we got everything, it was time to go. So like I said, it was so many people there. He couldn't find parking. The car was like a mile away. I got like two feet and I was like, oh my God, I'm not going to make it. So I had to stand there in the cold and wait for my husband to uh, load up the car and come pick me up. Oh my God, that was the worst. And then on top of that, like my street is like so much construction that's going on. And I, I can like literally feel myself swelling on the ride home. So my I can feel when my stomach swells up because it's like a lot of pressure that I feel. And it's like very uncomfortable. So we finally got home and I finally, you know, undressed and got in the chair. And I was like, oh my God, like I need to take it easy because I'm doing entirely too much. So I decided that I'm going to sit here and I'm going to recover and I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'm just basically going to, you know, minimize myself to my bedroom. Um, okay. So anyway, so, um, I think her name was Danielle. I'm sorry. I, I'm trying to do this on my phone cause I don't feel like picking up the laptop. I'm just like out of it right now, but yeah, I'm on day six and it's like, I'm going backwards or whatever, but I am walking, um, this morning, um, me and my husband got in the shower and I was like in so much pain. I couldn't do it. Like, um, you know, he washed me up and everything. And after that, I had to like get out because I couldn't do it. So I was like in so much pain. It hurt so bad that I had to like get out of the shower and I had to like sit down. And also, um, I realized that, um, like the reason why I say I can tell when my, when I swell up is because my bind my binder is like um it loosens up when I'm the swelling goes down and it tightens up when the swelling it when I swell more. So there are certain foods that make you swell. I know I read one of the girl posts and she says stay away from salty foods because it's, it makes you I guess it makes you swell. So okay, so I told you I love pickles. So I had a pickle last night and it really didn't bother me. Well, I didn't notice that it didn't bother me until because I was kind of out of it when I ate the pickle last night. But now it's like I just ate a pickle. And my stomach is like so swollen. 
right now I don't have on a binder and I really don't want to show you guys because I don't have any undergarments on so I really don't want to like make this a rated R show but um yeah so my stomach is like really really swollen after eating a pickle and I would advise everybody like not to eat pickles and also um Danielle asked me a couple questions she asked me the first question she asked me was will my doctor allow me to take anti um itch stuff well yes I called him when I first realized that I was itching I called him he said I could put anti-itch cream on my um stomach and stuff but do not put it on the incision so I could put it all everywhere my incision is not where it's itching it's just above my stomach and my side so my doctor did say I could put anti-itch cream on but do not put it on the directly on the incision so I got some crotals on 10 and went to the market the other day and it helps a little bit, but it's still, it's still, I still itch a lot. Also, anti gas. I didn't ask him about the anti gas, but they do tell you to take Colex. Colex is like a, um, is a, is a, um, a laxative and it's a stool softener. So if you have gas pains, you could take that because that might give you sign that you have to poo. Also, um, like I like to keep it real. I like to let everybody know, like everything that goes on I don't want to leave nothing out because you know you get surprises or whatever and some things people don't feel like they should talk about but I'm going to talk about this so yesterday the first, I pooed for the first time since the surgery and it was okay then today I had to go again and it was horrible it smelled like sewage okay it was like smell like death really it smelled horrible and it was like really really like thick and it was like um like brownish green it was disgusting basically but i guess that was built up from not being able to use the bathroom all week and then finally it built up and then it had to come out but it was disgusting anywho so when you do have to use the bathroom drink a lot of, my husband he usually drink a lot of water before he goes and make it come out easier so that's what i did i drank a lot of water and then make it come out easy because the colix it takes uh anywhere from 12 to 72 hours for it to work and I don't have all that, that time. But anywho, so that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions for me, you know, just leave me the questions and I'll try to cover as much as possible. So I'm going to end this video, but I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. I love you guys.